Good afternoon. Oops. Can everyone see the slide? Wonderful. Welcome, everyone. My name is Melissa Armel, and I'm going to talk to you today about momentum. I'm going to talk to you about trading. I'm going to talk to you about gaps, which is what I focus on, <coughs> and specifically my strategy. If you have any questions, you can plop it in the room. Okay, I'm the only person that can see the questions. <coughs> Excuse me. I will answer them as we go along today. Um, it's been an interesting time to trade. I think we're either going to have one or two things happen this week. If the market's going to be dead the rest of the week, <coughs> and next week because of the Labor Day holiday, markets close on Labor Day, or we're going to have a very volatile period. Okay, volatility means what? Something that happens is unexpected. That could mean a move up, that could mean a move down. Okay, volatility is unexpected. It doesn't always mean one directional bias per se. Okay, it means it's unexpected. But the nice thing about momentum is if you understand it and you know how to trade it, you can make money trading momentum, which is exactly what I focus on and exactly what I do. And it's all based on the gap, particularly my gap rating system. So for those of you that are interested in my course and in my class and in my system, which I will be discussing today in the lecture, the next class is a month away. I do the class about once a month. It is the end of September. It's September 25th and 26th. The cost of the class is $6,999. Everyone pays the same when they sign up. Sometimes I do special offers. I'm not going to be running a Labor Day sale starting tomorrow. I will discuss that at the end. If you're interested in joining, the class is always on the weekends, always on Saturday, Sunday, and it's from 9 to 5, and it's a full-on class. You can ask Kathy here. It's an intense class. We do a one-hour break for lunch. Everyone that's in my trading room has done the course. <clears throat> and the trial that I offer for the trading room is designed for people that are interested in the class. Now, if you come to me and you want to just join the room, I don't allow that. It's for people that want to sign up for the class and actually want to join and learn the system. I understand that there's many educational programs out there, and I'm going to be discussing somewhat about mine today in as much of detail as I can within the next 60 minutes. Um, but I will say that the one thing that uh, that is very unique that I do is I only have one focus. This is all I do. Okay. So while I have a company which is called the Stock Swoosh, while I have a business and everything else, every single thing that I do focuses not only on golden gaps. So that focus allows me to become successful day after day after day and year after year after year to continue to get better because I'm doing the same thing over and over. It's just like if you played a sport, if you were a golfer, if you I don't know if any of you are interested in tennis. The U.S. Open is in New York right now. If your focus is on one sport and you practice and practice and practice and play it for a number of years, you get better over time. You get really, really good. And that's pretty much where I'm at. I started trading at the end of 2008. And although I did not develop my system the first year that I got out of, that I started trading, it took me about three years. I've done nothing but gaps since I started getting into gaps. So it's still a very long time. And I think one of the mistakes that traders make, and you may be in this camp, is that they jump around from thing to thing to thing. You're never going to really get good into something if you do that. So my tip of the day is stay focused on one specific system or strategy. I'm here today to talk about mine. And if you're interested in mine, then you can learn and sign up for my class, like I said. But even if you decide that this isn't for you, if you don't have a focus and focus on one thing, you're not going to see good results and you're not going to see everlasting and long-lasting and consistent success. Okay, so today let's get into momentum. What is momentum? Momentum is a big move. It's money, it's volume, okay, and it's what comes in and moves stocks, but it's really money. So how is momentum, how is momentum created with cash? That could be buying or that could be selling, okay? Selling could be real selling from a long position that sold off or it also could be shorting. Okay, so when I look at candlesticks, which I'll show you some charts in a minute, green bars are what? Buying. Red bars are what? Selling. Okay, and everything I do is based on technical analysis. For those of you that don't know what technical analysis is, technical analysis is looking at price action to determine and predict the next move. So I look at past price data to predict future price data in a chart. 
everybody has access to a chart or should have access to a chart that's trading. Um, and if you want live charts, you have to open up an account and pay for a live platform with a broker. We'll talk about that more later. But anyways, momentum is a big move. And sometimes this can be a fast move, which I personally like. In reference to trading, the faster the move the get, the bigger I'm happy with that. Then I don't have to worry about things like overseas, stuff that's happening in Afghanistan, things the Fed might say, whatever. If I'm in and out of a trade very quickly, I don't have to worry about the gyrations of news and financial reports and, and everything else. Okay, We're living in an interconnected world right now. We're very connected. And I think that you cannot ignore the fact that we're connected and we live in a 24-hour news cycle as well. Things can happen very quickly at the drop of a hat or overnight. And if you've been trading for a while, you know that, particularly if you've been trading even in the last 18, 19 months since COVID hit. Okay. I see some people coming in late. Again, if you have any questions, plop it in the room and I'll answer it as we go along. Okay. So what I developed and what I, what I do is a system based on gaps, okay? First of all, let's just talk very basic. What is a gap? This is a daily chart. Remember I told you I look at technical analysis. Technical analysis based on the daily. This is the daily chart of Urban. We did this. I'll talk about this trade in a little bit. But what is a gap? A gap is the difference between the close and the open. Right now it's 4.40 Eastern time. So anything that's moving after hours tonight up or down is guess what? It's gapping. Things gap up, things gap down. Okay, so let's take a look at Urban. Stock rallied. Again, this was back on August 24th. Everybody with me here? Let's go back to the 23rd actually. <clears throat> So the stock gapped up on this day. Closed here at one price, opened here at a different price, rally. If you had gone long here on this particular day, guess what? You would have made money. Low of the day here was 38.50, high up here was around close to 41. This was a long. Again, this is a big green bar. What happened here? Momentum. Momentum came into it, boom, ran up. This happened on a gap up, and that worked. What is the gap down? Stock closed here, gap down. The following day, this was earnings. So it closed up here around 40 something and change and opened at a different price at around 38, fell. You could have shorted this, it fell. Again, the red bar depicts selling and then it fell, fell, fell. Okay, that was on the 25th. So what do I do? I get up in the morning and I'll see Urban, snug as a bug here, or I'll see it here in the pre-market and I will use my system to rate it to determine where it's gonna go up or down. This might have rally. This might have fallen, okay? So that's what I determine in the morning, okay? But gaps are very significant in a chart. Again, this is all based on technical analysis. So what makes the stock switch unique and particularly me? What do I do with my business? I have one focus, one system that I use and I replicate over and over and over again. Whether I do options or whether I do day trades or whether I do swing trades, everything uses the same system. I may use a different risk for options than I do for day trades. My time frame and my targets may be different for day trades versus options, but the system I use is the same, okay? On top of that, what also makes me unique is my system is a system that you can learn yourself. That's the point of you taking the class and learning it. This is not arbitrary, okay? I am not using some arbitrary system based on whatever, okay? Now, while I've been doing this a long time and I'm very, very good at it, the idea of the system is you follow it and you come to the same conclusion as me. We all come to the same conclusion. This is a long or this is a short after the rating, okay? A system is some, something that you can replicate yourself and learn it. So there's a lot of people out there doing stuff and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Jim Cramer, he's a television show. I appear on television as well, but I don't have my own nightly show. But I'm sure everyone's heard of Kramer. He's on CNBC. He's been around for 100 years. He makes stock picks on his live daily nightly show, but he does not use a system to make those picks. Okay? It's very arbitrary. He gives reasons for why he likes something, but it is not a system. It's not something you can learn, and you couldn't replicate it if you try. Do you follow me? So, again, it, so having something that you can follow, like a blueprint, 
which in my case is a checklist that I use every day. It makes it a heck of a lot easier for you to train. And then it's not something that's arbitrary, all right? And it's not discretionary either. It's a system that you will follow to the letter and then you will get the results, okay? And again, this is part and parcel of learning and the understanding of the process. Everyone wants to just follow, follow, follow. While that's great, how can you ever use the information if you don't understand it? If, if it's so arbitrary and so discretionary that you have no clue why someone is making the picks, well then how can you use it for yourself? How can you even understand it yourself? And if you don't understand it, how can you put your own money behind it, which is what you'd have to do in order to take the trade, okay? So th these are all the things that make me unique and the stock switch, which of course is my company. So I follow a system and it's called the Golden Gap Rating System. I developed a system and I coined the term because it's like finding gold in the market when you find a golden gap. Urban was one of those. We'll talk about a few other traits in here that we did in the last week as well. Uh, again, like I said, Monday, the stock market is closed for Labor Day. And the next two weeks, it'll see what we get in reference to volatility with the market. But many, many days, I'm looking for specific stocks or different stocks or unique stocks that have nothing to do with the market. Sometimes it's great when we get the market with us so we can have a bigger move, which is fabulous. But I'm not always needing the market for my trades to get them to targets because I'm looking each and every single solitary day for a special gap. Then I go through the checklist and I rate it. And I go boom, 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 boom. Now, gaps sometimes happen at night. Right now, there's a gap that's being created in a stock called Zoom. I'm sure every single person here, if you've been alive in the last 12 months, has heard of Zoom. Zoom is gapping down. I have not rated Zoom yet. Why? Because it's 4.45 a.m., I mean, a p.m., and by tomorrow morning, which is more than 12 hours away, Zoom could look better, Zoom could look worse than it does right now. That stock is expensive, it's over $300 a share, it moves a lot, it moves big. So I usually like to wait until the morning to rate it, okay? But you have gaps at night in the post market and you have gaps at night in the pre-market. You could rate something like Zoom tonight if you need the system to prepare for the morning if you want to and then I would go back and double, triple check it in the pre-market. But I get up early, I live in New York City, I live in the Eastern times at the same time zone as the market which trades from 9.30 to 4. I like to just get up early, go through my process in the morning before the room. But again, the process, the checklist that I do is the way that I utilize the information to follow the system instead of being discretionary and arbitrary. Because when you're trading on the fly on a whim, guess what? You're not gonna have consistent results. You're all over the place. You're in a good mood one day, you might do make a good pick and you're in a bad mood the next day and you make, make a bad pick. And it's based on nothing. And work could be based on the market. And if you don't get the market right, guess what? You, you lose. Market's been tricky. We broke out today. We made new highs in some of the indices. Not all of them, but some. But again, what I'm doing is looking for a specific thing each day where I don't need the market. Okay? Any questions here so far? Hello? Is anyone there? I see Ira there. He wrote in the room, let's go look at the urban trade. So again, urban closed here, gap down, fell, boom. Was a short, we shorted urban, okay? And so again, Zoom is my watch for tomorrow. I'm looking at the Zoom. I may short Zoom, I may go long Zoom, I don't know, okay? All I need is one pick a day, one single solitary stock, one pick a day to make money. That's all I need. That's all you need either. So if you want to make money in the market, you've got to have a focus. Having the focus allows you to actually be a lot less stressed and it actually allows you to become more successful because you are focused. You will get certain nuances and particular details and things that you, that you would have missed if you were all over the place. That's how I developed such a such a uh, a strict system. Twenty six points is a lot of things. Some people say, "Oh my gosh, it's so many things." Listen, if I could come out with one hundred twenty six points, I would. If that means I'd never lose. So you know, I have a high win ratio system. My win ratio is about an eighty percent win ratio. So for every ten trades, figure two we're going to lose and eight are going to work. But I still have trades that lose. But having the detail in the analysis is what helps. 
You can't do that if you're looking at too many picks. You can't do that if you're all over the place, okay? So it's really gonna help you make more money even just doing one trade a day. As crazy as it sounds, that's really all you need. And even if you do small size, same concept, same philosophy. Because let's just say, let's just say you took a um, hundred dollar risk, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's say you had a good week and you had four wins and one loser, okay? Say you made $100 on every day you won and you lost 100 in the day you lost, you lost full. You'd be up what for the week? You'd be up 300 bucks. That's a good week, okay? That's a good week with a $100 risk, which really isn't a lot. And $300 a week, when you think about it, is $1,200 a month. A lot of people that are trading are not making $1,200 a month, let alone with a $100 risk. Many people are losing $1,200 a month. Many people are losing $1,200 a week or more or a day, okay? So the idea of the consistency, less is more, will help you get to the point where you go from risking $100, once you can prove that you can make money in more trades than you lose, you can step up your risk to 200, 300, 400, 500, till you get to the point that you're gonna earn $250,000 a year, which by the way, you're gonna to have to take a risk of between $2,000 per trade. Okay, any questions here so far? Peter said no, okay. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, tip of the day, focus, follow one system, okay? That's how I make money and that I use the checklist. And if you follow a system and say you don't even know if it works, you're not sure if even you're doing something, you don't even know if it works. If you follow that and don't deviate, you'll find out if it works or not. In a week's time or a month's time, if you're following something to the letter and you're not making money, guess what? The system doesn't work. Too many people blame themselves and say, it's my fault, I did it, it's me, it's do ba do ba do No. Lots of systems really, quite frankly, do not have high win ratios and are not consistently profitable. That's the fact. I thought it was so brilliant that I was going to be able to figure everything out in six months when I first started trading and figuring out a system. It took me three years, and I'm smart. So this isn't easy to figure out. And a lot of people do things that don't work consistently. So I think this is one of the reasons people become frustrated with trading or frustrated with learning different systems and classes. You have to understand the odds. The odds are that more people lose money in the market than win that are active traders, active traders. However, when I'm looking for something, I'm looking at so much detail, that's what gives me the niche. That's what gives me and leads me the pack and leads me ahead. A lot of people don't want to take the time to do that. Why? They don't want to do the work. They just want trade ideas. They want to get in. They want to get out. And even if you come in the trading room and you take the class and you don't want to do the work and you take my trade ideas, you're still going to have to do the work to size yourself because you're still the one that's taking the trade. You still have to press the button to get in. You have to press the button to get out and you have to size yourself right. You can't take arbitrary risk in every trade. You take either. You can't risk $100 in one trade and $1,000 another and $500 or another. You're, 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 you'll be all over the place. If you take four winners and have one loser, you could still lose for the week if you're like that. So it's important to have the fixed risk be consistent. And again, that is up to you. That is up to you. You can ask me what I think about that. We'll talk about sizing at the end. And I'm always happy to tell you what I think based on the size of your account. But ultimately, it is up to you to make those split-second decisions in the morning. Are you allowed to take 500 shares or 200 shares or whatever, okay? Anyways, the meat and potatoes of what I do is based on the Golden Gap rating system. The system pinpoints momentum in what? In institutional money. What is institutional money? It's money that moves the market. It's big, big money. That's how you get the moves. That's how you get the momentum, okay? In something like NVIDIA, which rallied, I think I have this chart in here. If not, I'll pull it up. That was a call that we did. You could have also done it long as a day trade. The stock rallied and blew out and made new highs and kept going. Went way past through where I thought it would. That was last week. We're not long that stock right now. We did a lot of good trades in that this year, quite frankly. That stock was getting bought by who? Hedge funds. Big, big money. There's probably even 401k money in NVIDIA at this point. Stock has flown. It's moved ahead of the market, quite frankly, which shows the strength. So NVIDIA's had a lot of momentum, momentum to the upside. Okay, again, we're not in that right now, 
But that chart is a good example of something that's got bond. So again, with institutional money, you have buying and you also have selling, okay? You have to find stocks that move to get paid. I'm not a big believer in penny stocks or cheap stocks or, you know, these stocks that don't have any volume. I think they're dangerous to trade. You can get stuck in them. You might not get filled. Your stock doesn't get hit outright, whatever the case may be. I, I don't believe in taking five... 50,000 shares of something and getting out in 10 cents or whatever people are doing with these low float stocks. It's ridiculous. We're trading real stocks. Some of them are in the middle side range of price point, <laughs> you know, 20, 30, 40, $50. Some of them are more expensive, like Boeing or whatever, over $200 a share. It depends what we do. Take less size if it's more expensive. Do an option if you don't have the margin, whatever the case may be. We've got to play stocks at a volume to get the moves, and we want to feel confident, again, that people are trading them. You don't want to be in a stock where you would move it if you took 5,000 shares or 3,000 shares or something like that. You can't do stocks that have no volume or low float stocks. You've got to do things that move, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars or more. Again, I'm looking for the momentum. I'm looking for the momentum in the gap, okay? Any questions here so far? And there's a lot of people want to trade in our trading as well. I don't know if anybody here is a newbie, but if you want to trade and you don't know where to start, again, the main thing you need to do is set up, I would set up a demo account without any real money until you practice. That's number one. Get your charts set up. Again, I look at charts, I use technical analysis. And then I would determine what system you want to learn and from who, because if you're all over the place taking ideas in chat rooms, like the Reddit chat rooms, which are just taking ideas from complete strangers that have, again, no system or strategy for their ideas, you're going to fail that way. You have to look at this like a serious business. Like if someone gave you $100,000 and said, I'm entrusting you with this money. I want you to take this money and increase this profit, and I will give you a percentage. You can't just go willy-nilly in chat rooms with trade ideas. You have to have a thought for process. Maybe that person makes you sit down once a week and say, why did you take this trade, Mr. So-and-so? Why did you do this? It lost. What was the reason you did the trade? If you can't give them a reason and the trade lost, or even if it worked, if they can't give you, give you a reason, they're going to pull their money from you. They're going to say, you can't trade it anymore. You have to act like that with your own cash, with your own money, because it's your hard-earned money. And although people got a lot of stimulus money this year, I know people are being careful with their money, protective, if you want to say that because we never know where the economy is going to go. Any questions here so far? And getting back to protection, when I trade, I use stops when I day trade. I use a stop. A stop is a limit order. I put in the order, boom. If it hits me out, I get stopped, I lose. If I need to retake it, I retake it, but the stop is like the insurance, it protects me, okay? Anyways, I created my system called the Golden Gaps. I follow it to the letter. I don't trade on the fly. I don't deviate from it. Today, for example, in the trading room, we didn't do anything at all. Nothing met my criteria. I get up in the morning and I rate the gap. I'll rate as many gaps as I can find until I find something good. Either I don't have any good ones, in which case I don't trade, which is, which is discipline, okay? Or I will have a couple. Maybe I'll do more than one thing. That's rare, but I try to find one. Or maybe I narrow it down to just one of three or four. Or maybe I rate five and none of them rate per the system. Even though I found gaps and even though I rated them, they don't rate good enough to do. So again, I look at trading as odds. I'm trying to put the odds in my favor. That's why I have 26 points. Putting the odds in my favor means what? I rate it. And then I'm looking for 20 is the cutoff. 20 points or more per the system. So the higher the rating, the better the gap. If it rates like 15 points, I'm not doing it, okay? That's not high odds. In trading, you're looking for high odds, not low odds. Like if you go into a chat room and take an idea from a stranger that you don't even know or why they're doing it or they have no system at all, that is a low odds trade of working, you understand? You have to look for high odds. That is again the focus and the point of following a system. Okay, for you to be successful. Any questions here so far? So I'm drilling this into everybody's head. Follow a system, follow a system, follow a system. Don't deviate, do the work. I had a lecture in the trading room today. I was telling people, do the work. 
Do the work. Get up in the morning and do the work. You will trade better when you do the work. You'll be able to risk more when you do the work. And if you take a trade and it's down before it goes, before it's up, which sometimes can happen, guess what? You won't be nervous about it if you understand it. If you understand the gap, you know the rating. You say, well, this is good. Okay? And if it's getting back to momentum, not only do golden gaps have momentum, they also have a high risk to reward. What does that mean? I know there are some places out there, some systems that say that you can get a thousand return on investment percentage, 1,300%, you know, 500%, all crazy numbers. I'm not saying those numbers are impossible to sometimes get in trades. Do I sometimes have very high return on investments or rewards in trades? Yes. Is that something you should expect every single day or every single week? Absolutely not. And I think anyone that's telling you that is full of it, okay? Normal, normal, normal trading. And again, this is normal. You want to be normal. You want to see the longevity in this, which is not throwing your whole account into a, a stock or a trade, hoping for some huge big payout, some piggy target with a thousand percent return on investment or whatever like people have been doing this year. And people have been doing crazy stuff this year. Not that they never did it before, but people have been doing crazier things this year. You have to look at this like a long-term thing. Okay, so normal is what? You take an options trade, you're looking for a 50% to 100% return on investment. 50% is good. While we sometimes get trades that are way more than 100, that's not free plan. I don't know that till I put the trade on and it goes. And you see how much momentum is coming into it. And in reference to a day trade, what am I looking for? A one to one. So if I'm in a day trade, like I said, if I'm risking 100, I wanna make 100. And that's normal where I'm flipping it over, okay? So some of these crazy, crazy uh, percentages that people talk about are not the norm and you need, to, you need to know that. And that's why, again, you have to be realistic with your risk and your targets. And then most importantly, you have to build money. So you can't be up, you know, 100% in something or even 75% in something in a market like we're in, which is volatile, to be honest with you, in my opinion. It's wishy-washy. And then not book the profits. The idea of trading is what? It's booking money. When you have momentum, you can profit as long as you're in the correct direction. Again, we need to have the momentum. We need to have the volume. And, of course, without saying, you've got to get the direction right. In the urban trade we did, if you were long, you lost. We were short. It kept going. But you have to get the direction right too, all right? And again, part of this has to do with what? Timing. So we're looking for a specific time of the day to get in and as quickly as we can to get out if we can get it. Now I'm talking about day trades. Options I'm doing the weeklies. But again, the sooner I can get out of the options, the sooner the better. If I could do every single options trade and get in and out the same day, I'd do it. But sometimes I do end up holding them overnight because they haven't moved on the day, at least for me to get out of the 50% mark, okay? But you wanna protect your profits. That's very, very important. Any questions here so far? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Let me know if you do. Anyways, following a system like the Bowling Gap will give you a focus, will keep you you know, in line, I should say, with what you're supposed to be doing. And really part of being successful is doing the work. I was talking earlier about playing a sport. You're not going to get in the U.S. Open. You're not going to make it to the finals. You're not going to win or any of that unless you're willing to do the work. And many of these people go through a tremendous amount of work and years and years and hours and hours of their life to get to these points in life. Everyone wants to be successful and make all kinds of money like yesterday. That's, again, not reality. Like the idea of a 1,000% return in investment in a year, that's not reality either. Okay? You take your money and you put it to work for you and you stay consistent and you do the work and you learn it and you follow along and you ask questions. Okay? So my system, the Golden Gap, is effective because it results in momentum, big moves by finding them and pinpointing them to get the profit and it's efficient because many, 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 many of the moves we do happen fast. So we don't have to mess around. We don't have to wait for stuff to go. And not only that, we don't need the market, as I said. Now, 
Let's look at Baidu. Baidu was a beautiful short, which we could have day traded or done a put in or did both. Sometimes we do both in these trades. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> this was back in the middle of August. Baidu closed here, gap down. I rated it. It rated as a good gap. Fell. Boom. Fell, dropped. Gap down again, follow through. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the Baidu. Okay. Fell all the way down from the initial gap. Take it to the left or take it to the right. It was a little bit under 160. Within, this was about eight, August 12th, it looks like. So within a week and a half, it was down here where? Roughly around 135. So again, we're talking about momentum. There it is. You're utilizing the system by rating the gap and you take it in the right direction and here's the move. Okay? So you see, it's very easy to make money shorting something that's just going down, 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 down. Okay? Not a lot of thought involved after you do it and it starts moving. Depends how long you want to hold it. Again, if you want to do it as a day trade or a put as an option. But again, the rating system directed you, directed you to take it lower. To tell you this is going to sell off. Okay? So I called an option in on that day. It got down on the 12th. It was the 157.50 strikes. It was a good one. It expired on the 20th. Again, I usually do the weeklies, or I might call it out for the following week. This was a Thursday. What's a put? It was a short. Cost was cheap, I thought, for this price point. 325. 25 contracts at advanced risk of $8,125. You, you don't need to risk this. You could take one. You could spend 325 bucks. Sold at 15. It was a nice trade. It was a 362% return on investment. Actually, this was not even holding it all the way down. I'm showing you it. You could have pulled even more out of it. At a certain point, you must get the momentum and book the profits, like I've said. But I kept watching this and talking about this. I'll go back to the daily in a minute and show you what I saw. I was talking about it every single solitary day in the room. Profit was $29,375 with this higher risk. Now, if you wanted to risk a smaller risk, say your risk is about $1,000 per trade, you still could have made $335.25 on this. Again, let's go look at the Baidu chart. So here is the Baidu. So this day here, you were up a little bit when I called it, but it didn't really go that much when you were up. It was only up a little. So I talked about it and talked about it. I love the gap. I rated the gap. The system directed me to hold it, to hold it and say, this is good. Okay. So again, understanding something, comprehending the information, the focus, the focus, the focus allows you to stay in something because I will tell you this backed up. So from where we took it, then it backed up because it's closed here with a little baby bar and then a tail. The trade was down, down on that day into the close. So the conviction and the understanding of the focus of the system helps you hold it. Then it went good the next day, fell. And again, anywhere in here that you get out of this was beautiful. I call this, you can't mess this up. The type of trade where you can't screw this up, I say. And again, I got out of this way before this very last point, but I just want to show you where you could have been in this thing. You know, I don't know what the exact... Uh, dollar cost of this was even the day before the expiration on the 19th, but it was way more than 15 because this was 135. This was more than $22 through the strike the day before. Look at that. But you know, at a certain point, you have to take profits. Okay. Now, what's the benefit of doing an option versus a day trade? You can have a cash account. You can open up an options account with $2,000. You don't need to have a margin account. That's a benefit. I happen to do day trades and options. I like both. I can capture the overnight moves with the options like this, and I can do day trades too, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But momentum is the kind of thing where you want to go with the momentum. A lot of people want to get tricky, tricky, tricky when they're day trading. And retail traders, they want to get tricky. They want to go against it or whatever. No. When you have a good gap, again, it has to rate per the system. I'm going with the momentum. If it doesn't rate per the system, guess what? I'm not trading it at all. I'm not doing it. If I don't feel the momentum's with it, why would I trade it? Why would I do it? Why would I risk my money in something that isn't going to move? It's a waste of time. Okay. And again, if you're looking for the market to help you get a move, good luck. 
because you gotta read the market then right every single day. And even I don't get that right all the time. I get the market right a lot, but not all the time. The market is tricky. <laughs> Momentum is your friend, okay? Now here was the urban that we did. Closed here, gap down, open fell. So this was a day trade. You would have had to short this a margin. We did this as a short. I did not do an option in this, but you could have. I think there was options in this. I did not do it. We shorted it at 37.60. If you are in the live room, I will call the exact entry. I will call the stop. It's up to you to determine your size. An advanced trader risk was 3,000 shares, a risk of 2,700. Exit was at 36.45. This kept going. I'll pull, pull up, the, go back to the chart in a minute. This is just a quick, fast, in, out. Get the momentum out. A dollar or more, out, out, boom. Profit was 3,450. Where did this go? Let's take a look at it. This was back on the 25th. It continued, dropped. Looks like it didn't quite get down to 36 that day. It eventually broke 36, fell all the way down here, actually broke 35. The following day, look at that. Look at that. So you will get big moves and sometimes you'll get a secondary move. We did, uh, we did Peloton on Friday. I did not do Peloton today. I did not want to do anything today. I didn't really like anything today. I didn't even want to do any continuations today, but Peloton did continue today. Peloton was our Friday short, and Peloton continued today. Similar, similar to Urban, but not as big of a bar. Now, back on the 26th then, this was the day after, we did DLTR. This, again, was a short. I love to day trade shorts. Again, I'll do calls in the newsletter. On the options, I'll do puts. I'll go long as a day trade. But we've had some fabulous shorts in the last month of August, even in July too. We've had some really good shorts. Despite the fact the market's been running up, I'm picking the good things to do to short. So this closed up here the night before. Again, boom. Gap down in the morning here. Around 97 and change fell. Boom. This continued too. Look at that. Again, what is this? Selling. What is this? Shorts. What is this? It's a gap. It's a gap that rated for the Golden Gap system. I rated in the morning, I did the worksheet, I filled it out, I said, I like this, we're gonna do it. Down here's the volume. You get the volume, you get the momentum, it's going in your direction. It went way more than a buck. You only need one thing to make money every single solitary day. This had a kind of a big stop, so I only had 1,200 shares of it. Again, your risk should be close to similar in every trade. Exit 93.55, this was a good exit on this actually. 3,000 was the profit. Let me go back to the bigger chart. This was a really good exit on this. But it's difficult to always get a low of the day exit and a short or a high of the day exit and a long. But you follow it through. We talk about the targets in the room. That is something we go over. And again, I call the exits in the room too. I do teach targets in the class. That is something we discuss. Again, everything's based on advanced technical analysis. Everything's based on the chart. Okay? Everything's based on the system. Everything's based on momentum. Everything. Don't deviate. Stick with the system. Let the system guide you. When you're doing that, then guess what? You're gonna be a lot less stressed. There's no way to get away from the stress of taking risk. You risk $1,000, you know you could lose it. If you've traded before, you know that's true. If you're new, you need to know that. Every time you take a trade, the trade could lose, you could lose that money. So you have to assess it and say, how can I trade less stress? What can I do to make this as easy as possible for myself? Okay, number one, do less trades. One trade a day or two of the most is good. That keeps it less stressful. Number two, understand what you're doing when you take the trade. Have confidence in the system, have conviction. And three, use the system. Use the system, follow it. Do not deviate from it. While your results may be that some trades you lose, overall, if you follow the system Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you will have a lot more trades that work that don't. Why? Because of the fact that you know your system has a high win ratio. And even if you lose today, you'll win tomorrow. Do you understand? Any questions here so far? Hello, is anyone alive? Um, anyways, 
I use the system to day trade, and I also use the system to trade options. So we already showed you a couple options, newsletters too. It does not matter how you use it, but you need to pick your risk. In reference to options, the options are a good way for people to trade who cannot be in the live daily trading room. So if you can't trade with me in the morning, the room opens at 8.30, I start talking at 9, 9.15-ish, and I start trading around 9.30, 9.45, 10 o'clock, depends on when they get a setup. I'm trading in the morning. If you're at work or you can't do it with the time zone you live in and you can't do the day trades, options are a way to utilize my system. It's the same system. It's the same exact system, the same rating system, and everything when I make the options picks, but you can take the trades that get sent to you to in a newsletter in live time via your email. You can place the trade on, you buy it, you still can't do it until after the open, you buy it, and then you immediately can put a sell order. So like you could buy the video calls, say you paid two bucks, get in, and then immediately put a day order, a cancel sell order at three. That way you can go about your day, you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to follow it, and if it hits you out, you made 50%. That's normal. Now, I do put targets in the newsletters. I don't have them in here, but they are in the newsletters. And you can watch it and watch the chart if you want to watch it to go to the targets, okay? But options are good for people that cannot actively day trade or that don't have the money to have a margin account, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit too. Any questions? Now, one of the reasons I like doing margins besides the day trades is I'm not day trading Amazon on margin. One, it's very expensive, and two, it's crazy, crazy spreading. So I like the, the fact that I can do an option in something that's very expensive, still be able to partake in trading something like this, and not have to be concerned about spreads or, or margin or things like that for the cost of the stock. So very expensive things. There's another good reason to trade options too. So we've done we've done Amazon. Here was the gap in Amazon. Stop close to your gap down, open fell. This was the night before the earnings. This was the day of the earnings. Took a little bit of while to go, fell into here. The day of this actually was the end of the month of July. Hard to believe it was a long time ago. Then it plopped in here. It took really almost three weeks to fall and break. Never got down to 3150, never got down to 3100, never got down to 3000. It, it might someday but it did have a nice sell-off in here. We did the 3,300 puts. Again, a put is a short. I called this trade on August 9th. This was a pretty tight trade. Go back here and look at it. Take it up. Here, fell, boom. Now by tight, I mean I didn't give it much time. Now these are a little expensive. Actually, this was pretty reasonable for Amazon. Cost $16 for one contract. Five contracts, risk was 8,000 for an advanced trader, risk sold at 31, profit 7,500, return on investment 94%. That is a fabulous trade. Again, you could have put an order out to sell it at 50 if you can't watch it. it's That's profit. Now, what if your small account? Take one then, just do one, that's $1,600, one. You could have made $1,500 on it. Two days, boom, take it, buy it, and if you held it down into the following day, that's where the sell-off occurred. Let me just go back. You take it here, boom, drop, out. So again, I love it when they go fast. Fast to me in an option is the same day within 24 to 48 hours. Fast to me in a day trade is within 10, 5, 15 minutes. So this is a way to trade very expensive stocks too, okay? We also did Boeing. This sold off today, and the QQQs rallied and made new highs. So you have things that are kind of all over the place right now. One of the things that's a problem for the market is the dichotomy, dichotomy in the market that you're seeing right now where not every industry is going together, and that is unusual and not the norm. We were in a situation like that a couple weeks ago, and the market was sideways. Now we're, then we connected again, and now we're back in the situation again where things aren't adding up. That means choppiness in the market. It means you've got to get the right picks. It means maybe you stay away from playing the actual market indices until you understand exactly what you want to do, and the market picks <coughs> a way that it's all going to go together. Because you, if you have a problem with something like Boeing, which drags down the Dow, which is the diamond ETF, you're going to have a hard time getting any push through and the spy or the cues if you don't have the follow through. Everything has to go together to get together. 
Now, we did a short, it was August 18th. We did the 215 puts that expired on 827. Let's look at the gap. Let's look at the gap. Okay, the 18th is here. Oh no, I'm over here. Gosh, that was July, sorry. <laughs> Here's the 18th. Yeah, here. Closed here, gap down, fell, boom. Here's the move. So the move happens overnight where it goes plop. So again, here's the close, here's the open. In this case here, we were in it, and then we captured the move overnight because it gapped down into the move. Again, momentum is where? Down, down, selling. The momentum continued, plop, and it fell and gapped down into the trade that we were already in. You see that? Again, I rated the gap, the gap rated good. It performed, it performed, the chart performed, the momentum went, it was to the downside. Cost was 250, number of contracts was 30, risk was 7,500, sold at six, profit 10,500, which is 140% return on investment. That is a nice, nice trade and a solid trade within 24 hours, or you could say 48, whatever, if you count for two days, but it was a nice trade. Again, we are looking for momentum. I want the momentum to go in my direction. In the case of a put, that means what? A red bar, it means selling. Again, in the case of a green bar, it means buying. If you have a smaller account, again, you could have risked 1,000, which would have been four contracts. Sold at six, profit 1,400. Return on investment, same 140%. Okay. But again, you could have got out of 100. You could have set your order for 100, or you could set your order for 50. If you really can't watch stuff, when things hit targets, so I tell people put a sell order at 50 because you, you know, things can hit targets pretty fast and you really got to watch them. And again, this is if you're busy or if you have a day job or you're doing other things. But I'm always looking for the move to be fast. I'm always looking for the momentum to be fast. Again, that I don't have to worry about the gyrations of things that are happening all around us. You could be in a long and trapped in something when the bomb goes off over in Afghanistan. What are you going to do? Or upside down the other thing. You, you need to be aware of what's happening in the world right now in your trades. And most importantly, you have to book money. You can't let good profits get away from you. And again, when people are thinking about crazy, crazy, crazy numbers like 500% or 1,000%, I'm not saying we never get great trades like that. You saw that one in there. There was over 300, but that happens whenever it happens. It's not something that happens every day, nor is it planned. These things on your job is to do one thing. It is to be consistently green, to have very few losses and way more winners. And that is what your job is as a trader. This whole idea and this whole thing that's happened in the last year of 2021 with this GMV, with these Reddit people, has made people with GameStop think crazy, nutty things all the time that they're going to risk a small amount of money and make a bazillion dollars. That is so rare. It is an anomaly. You can't look at trading like that. This is an activity. This is a function. This is a skill set that you will learn in the, in the understanding of the system and then the application of it. And it's something that you will consistently do to chunk money and pull it out of the market on a regular basis. You will have huge trades if you come with me. It happens. But you don't know when it is. And you can't look away from real profits that are there in your face because you can lose them. Okay. What was a good point? What did I say that was a good point, Peter? Getting back to what I was saying, you can trade options with a $2,000 cash account. So you don't need a lot of money to trade options. You can't risk two grand. You can't risk your whole account in one trade. Okay, be reasonable. You can trade on margin at a prop firm or retail firm. What's the difference? A prop firm is going to give you 10 to 1 leverage, and it's going to give you more leverage, and you don't need 25,000. A retail firm is going to give you 4 to 1 leverage, and you need 25,000. They have different rules and different requirements, okay? You can check them out online. I would do your due diligence wherever you go. You must be able to short. You must be able to enter a trade and short it and take it, okay? And the amount of cash you need, again, varies from prop firm to prop firm. Retail, you're gonna need 25 grand. Prop firm, you could trade with as little as $5,000. Some places allow you to trade with 2,500. You've got to do your due diligence and check them out. Fees are different too. A lot of retail places now are not charging any fees for commissions, which is very beneficial, but then you've got to have the 25,000 there. They still may charge you a platform fee though. Okay. Prop firms still charge platform fees too. Of course, you got to know what's happening in the world and how it could affect things. And I know watching the news is depressing. 
you know, it, it's gotten depressing ever since last year. They, in fact, I'll tell you, came out today now. They've, it's, uh, the flights, they've restricted flights now to Europe from the U.S. That's negative. I don't know when that will take its effect on uh, uh, the market or on stocks, but that is not good news. That is not good news at all. That is probably one of the reasons that the airline Boeing fell today. I did not look at the other airlines. In fact, let's quickly look at them. I know we're running a little bit late here, but I'll hurry up towards the end. Um, in fact, that news, I saw that news after the BA was running down. So they probably knew that was going to happen because they were talking about it over the weekend. Yeah, look at this. So all these airlines fell because of that. Do you understand here? That's not, that's not good. That's not good for anyone. So unless it's essential, essential travel, now you cannot fly from the United States to Europe. Well, guess what? People aren't going to come here for tourism. People aren't going to come here for vacations. We can't go there either. Uh, you, as far as real estate in New York, that's going to tip the scales here for real estate and tourism for the holidays in New York City. That's bad for New York. Yep. These things all tank today. Let me look at United too. Yep, there it is. All right, so that's interesting. But that came out. But again, that's why you got to understand what's going on too. You know, you have to know for so many reasons. What if you were long? What if you were long Boeing? You know what I mean? Now, getting back to how much do you need to risk to earn to make 250K a year? I say between 2,000 and 2,500 is a good amount. And that's a hefty amount to risk per trade because you need to be able to risk it every day. If you do one trade a day, you have to look at it that way. You don't have to start out with this. You can baby step it, like I said, and you don't have to wait forever to increase your risk if you're doing well. If you're trading for the first week and you're doing well, step it up the next week. If you're trading for the first month and you're doing well, double your risk for the second month. No one said you have to take forever to get to the point where you're risking more, okay? But I would start out slow. And again, one trade a day, one focus, okay? And then you grow it, and then you get your account size up. So it's not like I take the same size in every trade. The way I size myself is a dollar amount, not the share quantity. Otherwise, I'd be taking different amounts. I can't take, you know, 30 contracts in every option. What if, it, what if one costs $16 and one costs 2 bucks? You see how that would be all over the place. So you have to look at it, go by step, step, step. It's the dollar amount, 500, 500, 500, or 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. And by the way, $500 is a great risk amount. I mean, the way that things have been going with us, you can risk $500 a trade and do extremely well, extremely well. And I don't think that's a crazy amount, to be honest with you. But anyways, the money comes easy when you're trading momentum. You got to get the momentum or you're not going to, you're not going to bank, make bank. You can use my system for day trading, swing trading, and options trading. How much you make is a function of how much you risk. However, how well you do is knowing a system and following it or not following anything at all and flying by the seat of your pants, which like I said, is not a good idea. So everything I'm doing, I'm looking for a good, solid risk to reward in my trades. Again, options 50% to 100%. With day trades, one to one. You've got to be consistent with your share size. You've got to. And again, I call the live trades in the room. I call the entry, the stop, and the exit. As you get better, you can risk more. And the more you risk, then the more money you're gonna make, okay? So I would spend your time wisely. Sitting at your desk for six and a half hours a day, your eyes are gonna get tired, you're gonna go bonkers. This is even if you have the time to do it. But say you do, say you're retired, say you're not working right now, say you uh, are at an office where you can trade all day and do your other job at the same time. I don't trade six and a half hours a day. I'm in and out of my day trades pretty quick. I'd say within the first half an hour of the day, maybe the first hour, but usually the first 30 minutes of the day. Now, if I'm in an option, like I said, I could be in something for a week, but that's a long time, preferably a day or two. So, and I don't sit and babysit my options. I'm doing things, whatever, I'm talking, I'm on TV, whatever the case may be. I'm not staring at the screen necessarily all day long. The benefits of trading, particularly if you want to do this as your full-time job, is that you can work your own hours, one hour a day, whatever you want to work. 
You can choose to do the options or the day trades. You can take vacations when you want, and your income is determined by your experience and the size of your account and your risk level. Emotionally, how are you with your risk? Are you okay with taking a $2,000 risk per train? Or not? The better you get at it though, the easier it'll be for you to take it. This is where again, the knowledge comes to the point and the focus as well. Sometimes I take a trade and I'm down and I have a pretty hefty risk. I don't get stressed out about it because I have conviction in it. I have conviction in it. The conviction that I have comes from the knowledge and from doing one thing now for 13 years. Okay, so how to get to that point? Again, this is one of the things that makes me so unique because many, 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 many traders and educational places that are out there too teach a plethora of things. A lot of knowledge in multiple things isn't going to get you where you need to be in reference to success in trading. Just like if you played every single sport out there, that doesn't mean you're going to win the U.S. Open. The only way you're going to win the U.S. Open is if you're a fabulous, fabulous tennis player. You understand? So you have to have the focus if you want to be a winner. Because the world is full of wannabes. A lot of people are just looky-loos. And everybody wants to risk money in the market. And they all want that big one win. A lot of people have unrealistic expectations every time they're risking money. Don't have unrealistic expectations. Just have a realistic expectation that you're going to risk $500 and you're going to make $400 or $500. And that's what you're going to do. Do you see the difference? But if you can replicate that over and over and over and over again and look at it as a whole, week by week by month by year, you're like, oh my God, this is a lot of money. I'm actually doing this. It's actually coming together. I actually can do this now. Okay. And more importantly, do not trade unless you know what you're doing. So many people trade and don't know what they're doing, particularly in these free chat rooms right now. But ultimately, information is invaluable. So many people now don't want to learn and understand things. I get that 16 hours and two days is a long time to be in a class, but I make it fun. I am not a boring person to listen to for 16 hours. Ask Kathy. She's been in many, many classes with me. You will learn something. You will find it fun. You will find it exciting. And the information that you learn is invaluable because you're going to learn it to make money and then replicate it over the course of your whole life. Okay? Get back to doing the work. Get back to making doing the work fun, which is what? It's thinking, thinking. Everyone wants to be like, la, 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 on their phones and just blanking out like, ooh, like zombies. Get back to thinking. Get a notebook. Buy a piece of paper. Go to Target. I just went to Target the other day. I bought six notebooks. They had them on sale. I just got them. It was back to school stuff. I use paper. I write stuff down. That's how you learn it. That's how you grasp the information. Ever heard of writing stuff down? The more you write it, the more you learn it. Okay. Print your charts out. Draw on your charts. Make all kinds of lines all over them. Do whatever you have to do till you see it and you understand it. Okay. Go back to school for yourself. You're going to make more money in the end. Trust me. <laughs> There's no shortcut where you can do really well in the market and not understand what you're doing. There's no shortcut. You've got like every person that's seriously making real money in the market knows what they're doing. Period. End of story. Okay. That's just, again, going back to the nuts and bolts of reality. Reality isn't a bad thing. Reality is a good thing because you'll have a foundation like where you're walking and you're standing and you're on your two feet. Okay. You want to be on your two feet. For every one person that made a lot of money in that huge GME move, which was really the only guy that did exponentially well was that guy that came out and blew it up with that YouTube video in the first place. But most of the people did not because they bought that stock too late after it became a phenomenon and then it crashed. Okay, and then they were on their feet and then they were off their feet and then they're on the floor broke, okay? You, ha you want to be able to put one foot in front of the other and keep going into the future. So my Bowman Gap rating system measures gaps by rating them in the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability directional bias for the entire day. Big move of the day. Early confirmation of the bias in the move in between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. And precise entries will follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. 
So the Golden Gap 26 point rating system, that's what I do. It finds the momentum for you to play. Again, whether it's long or short, but I do prefer to short. This was the Baidu that fell. I prefer to short, why? Because panic comes in when something sells off. Panic can come in really quick. A panic could come in in the next couple of days, even though we made new highs. Who knows what's happening right now? Tomorrow's that deadline over in Afghanistan, August 31st. What's going to happen? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. We're living in a world right now where you get up in the morning and sometimes you watch the news. I mean, look at what happened last week with that bombing. That was terrible, terrible. I mean, I hate to say it, but, you know, you got to at least turn the news on for five minutes in the morning and see what's going on. The first thing I do when I get up in the morning is go look at the market. I'm half asleep, my eyes are half closed, and I look and see where the market's gapping. And then I can see where we are in the day, and then I turn the TV on. Okay? And again, that goes back to saying about taking profits. So my system is called the Golden Gap System. The Golden Gap System is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. You go through it, you do the work, you fill out the worksheet. That's what I do, that's what you come and you learn how to do it. You're gonna trade better. This checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. The 26 point checklist predicts directional bias in the stock and the momentum that's gonna come in there after it, okay? That is what you will play on. Now, we talked about the options newsletter. This is not a class. This is a subscription service. There are no trials for this. There are no prerequisites either. There are people in the newsletter that are making money that have never done the class. I do think you will do better if you take the class and learn the system and then want to subscribe to the newsletter, but that's up to you. If you just want to do options, you can just subscribe to the newsletter service. It's 12 months for $6,999. You can sign up at any time. If you sign up today, get the trades tomorrow. It's whenever I see the trades is whenever I send them. It's plenty of trades within a one-year time, I will say that. Um, so it's one year of newsletters for email to you in live time, okay? Now, if you want to learn the system that we've been talking about, how do I make the options picks, how to make the day trade picks? Again, we did Peloton was the last thing we did on Friday. I rated it. It rated as a short. It worked. The system, what you learn in it, is the 26 points. It's a very specific way to look at a daily chart to predict how to take the trade. You will learn how to read institutional money and price patterns and gaps. And quite frankly, you don't need to do anything else. I haven't been doing anything else for 13 years. I started doing options about six, seven years ago, just as another way to make money to capture overnight moves. And now I've been doing both. But you know, I didn't start out doing options. I started out just with the day trading. And I realized then that I can capture longer moves and options. In fact, I didn't do an option in Peloton. I wish that I would have. Uh, Peloton's continuing. I didn't do a put in that, but I could have. But anyways, if your reason for trading, which I would think is to make money, you've got to have a focus and you really have to know what you're doing. And if you're not excited about taking a class or you've taken classes in the for before in the past and you have not learned something, it probably was not as detailed as my class, I will say that, okay? So it's, it's the focus, this is all that I do. When we have downtime and we don't trade, I'll teach and stuff like we did in the room this morning. So I do lessons in the room and proprietary things we discuss on days we don't trade. Most of the days I am trying to trade, but if I don't find something, I'll do a teach you lesson. Again, we're trading between 9.30 and 10 a.m. for the day trades. But the options I usually call in the pre-market, you take them into the open. Sometimes I will call one in the afternoon, but not often. If you want to work from home and you're looking for something else to do, whether it's a new career, a part-time, side-time job, or you're retired, you can do well with this. I have people of all different backgrounds and all different ages and all different monetary amounts that are risking that are with me. I've had the business a long time, and I can sense when people need help or whatever, and I'll jump on a Skype with people. I will help them on a Skype and we'll go over what their issue is. Some people do have trouble with sizing. You have to be able to make a decision. If I say 10 by 50, guess what? The stock's 40 cents. You have to be able to size, if your risk is $1,000, how many shares you can take with a 40 cent risk. Do you understand? I found that is the biggest, biggest, biggest problem that people have that come to me. And that's nothing to do with my systems particularly. It has to do with, you know, it has to do with uh, math. People are just not good with math in their head very quickly. So then my suggestion to you is if you know that, then buy a calculator. Okay, I have a calculator here. 
For the options, you got plenty of time to size yourself with the options because you're putting an order out to fill it. But with the day trades, if you take it and you undersize yourself and you realize it, add to it. If you undersize yourself, then when it starts to go, shave a little off. Shave a little of it off, okay? But again, buying a calculator will help you as well. So my Golden Gap system is something that you can learn if you want to make money. What do you learn in day one? The 26-point rating system, that's a whole deck. And day two is the entries, exits, and targets. Again, the class is not for another month. It's September 25th and 26th. However, I'm running a Labor Day special if you want to sign up before then. Um, so then you could have access if you want to be in the room and you would do the class at the end of the month. I will go slow until you actually take the course, however. The dates for the class are September 25th and 26th, 9 to 5. Cost of the class is $6,999. You can email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want to sign up. Now, the Labor Day special is you will receive the trading room free to the end of 2022. This is a huge offer. That means you will get all my calls in the live room and free access for the rest of 2021. I mean, it's only August until the end of 2022, the whole year of 2022. You must sign up by September 6th, which is Labor Day. This ends on Labor Day. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? If you're serious and you're interested in the class, then you can email me if you want a trial for this week. The room is closed Friday. I'm off for a long weekend. So you can have a trial for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. If you are not interested in the class, the trial isn't for you because you cannot join the room without having taken the class. Okay, so serious people only. Only if you're interested in the course. Any questions? Sorry I went over Kathy, but thank you for letting me stay. Great picture in New York. It was a long time ago. I already been finding me for a while. I will check my email when we're done. So you've been following me for a while too. Vito, you come every webinar, but you haven't signed up. I think you've been following me since 2012. I don't know why. And you're new. Duke, you're new. S31 is Ron. You've been around a while too. Joseph, you look new to me. There's a mix here tonight of new people and old people. Listen, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I think it's a pivotal, pivotal day for the country. They did not get all those people out of Afghanistan. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. They know that they didn't. I don't know what's going to happen. It's really, really just a crisis situation. And I am concerned for the people that are trapped there. It's definitely one of those situations. I, I manually go through, that's what you learn in the class, the 26 points. I pick, make the picks. By going through 26 things, one, two, three, four, five, six, I, that's what you learn in the class. That's the meat and potatoes. I go through 26 things, and that's how I make the selection. How long does it take you to do it? If you've been doing it for a while, you could do it in three to five minutes. If you're new, it could take you 15 minutes for one to do. No, I do not have a basket of stocks. I look at all the stocks that are gapping. On any one given day, you may have thousands of things that are gapping. It does not mean that I rate thousands of things. So, you know, I'm good enough that I can do it and just scan and say, no, 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 without going through all 26 things. But again, that's part of the process and part of learning it. There is no, there is no automated system. You are using your brain. Remember I talked about earlier, buying a notebook, using your brain. You are the best person to make the decision about something, not a computer. And by the way, people that use black boxes and computers, guess what? They're programmed by people with brains. There's no skipping around. You've got to use your brain. You've got to take care of yourself. You've got to get a good night's sleep before you trade. You've got to have breakfast or lunch or dinner, depending on where you are. And you can't trade on the fly. And don't trade if you're stressed out. And don't trade if you're sick. And don't trade if you just had an argument with somebody. If Kathy had an argument with her husband, I would say don't trade today. Take the day off. If her cock got out or got lost or something happened or if he was sick, I'd say take the day off. Don't trade today. The cat's sick. No program. You're going to learn it and you're going to do it with your brain.
no automation. If it was that easy to automate something, guess what? No one would ever lose. Everyone would have a black box and no one would lose any money. It's not that easy even for hedge funds. You know what I mean? And how would you program something like what's happening in Afghanistan into a black box? You couldn't. You wouldn't. It, would, it wouldn't be predictable either. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what we get tomorrow. Again, it's a light week, but I know Zoom is gapping tonight. I will rate that in the morning. I don't know if I'm doing it, but I know it's rateable. And then we'll see what else we get as well. We'll see where the market's doing. I just quickly looked at the market. It looks like we're pretty much flat. Quarter of six, not much happening tonight. We're flat for now. But the airlines were down today and did fall. And that news came out later, but they were talking about it over the weekend, so the airlines obviously priced that in today's move. Any other questions from anybody else? Or Duke, I see you're typing something. Do you have another question? Again, if you would like a trial, email me at Melissa at the stock swoosh.com. Serious people only. I'm very upfront with people. That's why I told you the price of the class right away. Is I, at most people's websites, we're talking about educational places. They don't even have the price on their website. That's ridiculous to me. If I go into the store and I go into Neiman Marcus or I go into Nordstrom, the price is on the item. This not telling people prices is crazy. I will read your email, Ira, and respond to you. Duke, you're typing is stuck. If you have a question here, I'll plop my email in because it's stuck. You can email me there. Thank you so much for staying, Kathy. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Stay safe and have a wonderful night.